Right, well, we've worked it a bit better now. Let's try and pull that in. Okay, can I? Right, so we've got... Yeah. Now it's only 1.8, but that's probably because we're going the other way. Let me just move my scope out of the road. There we go. Right, so what I'm going to do now, first of all, is to meter the current and also the temperature, which is up there, 14. So I'm going to turn this up a bit now, see what current we get. Trouble is, it's reflecting now off the light. Let's try that, there we go. Right, so if I bring it up a bit. And what happens is it gets to a stage where it's just about to turn and then it just kicks. Okay, so that's 6 amps. We've got 15 degrees. So I want to get it turning. I don't know what the mark space ratio is. It's not turning yet. 7, 8. Hallelujah. It's turning. What have we got 14 amps. A bit of crackling going on. But it's turning. Finally. See, look. There. 14 amps. Right, I'm just going to take the space right down and try and do it on a low space. Uh, what have we got? That's 5 amps. I think something else is going on here. Right, what I'm going to do is reduce the space, which also increases the current. There we go. I think it's probably one of the... Uh, That's 14. Shut up. Yeah, crackling. And I think, in actual fact, we've got something going on. In terms of the, uh, the core. I don't know what it is, though. I can imagine there's going to be quite high currents. So, let's go on. I'm trying to get it so I can control it. 20 amps. There we go. It's turning quite fast now. That crackling is kind of... As you can see, it's turning. What have we got? 21 degrees? That's pretty good. So obviously that's got past the worst. part of the, uh, the go. Yeah. So if I turn that down. Uh, oh look. Oh it's alright. That's okay. It recovered. Whew. That made me panic then. I wasn't I wasn't looking at the current. But what happened is it, it went on full. That's full mark. Full mark there. And I just went a bit too low on the space. Okay, that's gone. It's actually stopped. Although we've got 14 amps. So I don't know what's happening there. I'm just going to stop it. There. So that was 14 amps going through it. And I think this has happened before. Where it wouldn't turn even though there was current going. Isn't it? What have we got? Yeah. See, look, there's 14 amps. Oh, it's turning. Oh, that's better. Something's obviously reconnected. There. That's working. 22, we've got 30 degrees. Is it 30 degrees? Yeah, it's just sort of like warm to the touch. So we've got 30 degrees and we've got 22 and a half. Right, what I'm going to do, because I'm trying to test out what the temperature is that I need to use. 
So if I turn it right down, what I want to do is get it to the point where it's just turning. Which is not bad. Yeah. That's quite strange, it's still going. 18 amps, 31 degrees. Yeah. That's full. Yeah, that's it. We're controlling it now. That noise. I don't know where I'm pointing. I'm sorry with the camera. I don't know where I'm pointing. We've got 19. Oops, something's beeping. I think it might be the uh, current meter. Oh, it's going. There we go. Let's put it back on. And. What I want is just the DC. There we go. That's working. So it must have been the noise, must have been the uh, something in the core that wasn't making properly. And you, since I'm using PWM, it's now working. That's strange. Anyway, I'm sorry about the other noise. There's somebody who's doing dyno stuff. And the weirdest thing in the world now. 36 degrees. So the temp's going up now. Let's just leave it for a second. And that's that's the worst case one. We've got 37 degrees. It smells quite hot. So I'm just wondering if I trust that thermal probe. Yeah, it's getting a bit hot. I've got the thermal probe on the centre because I couldn't work out which one it was. Let's try and move it to the... Because I think it's the bottom one. So it's 41. Yeah. Now I don't know what it's dissipating, but it's just turning, which is the worst case scenario. If I turn it up, then we should see the temperature drop because it's not the back EMF isn't as high. Although this is a series one motor. 44, 45. There you go. And that's full. So that's 44 degrees, and we've got 31 amps. Yeah, and that's just running. But it smells now. Yeah, it smells quite hot, so I'm actually going to stop this now, which I can do by pulling the gate off, I think. Or just that. There we go. Yeah, that's getting quite hot, which is quite surprising, actually. Although there's no heat sink on it. We are dissipating quite a large amount of current, 40 odd amps, I think we went up to. What did it go up to? Anyway, so I'm going to let it cool because it's obviously working. But, uh, yeah, that's quite interesting though. The initial noise on the motor, there was obviously something weird going on. And uh, I think it was probably that it was a poor connection. And because I was sending a PWM through it, it was. Uh, it was causing it to um, spark and then eventually it's shorted and it's now running properly so it's possible that I had a problem in the motor before and that's what happened you know that, that making that crackly noise yeah I'm just letting it cool down a bit now oh yeah that feels more than 44 degrees it's uh, well actually I don't know if I put my finger right over where I think the gate is it's a bit uncomfortable, which is usually sort of like around the 60 degrees mark. Yeah. What I might do is actually get the uh, probe, because there's a thermistor on there, and I don't know what range it runs, that one there, but if I actually put that on it instead, then I can use the thermistor inside it, and it might, because this is just a thermistor as well, it may well just simply be pretty similar to the operation. Okay, the temp's coming down a bit now. That's good. Well, hang on. Oh! Uh, it's not even on it. Look. Oh, right, I'll reconnect. I'll stop again and start again. 